still thinking that you need a master's degree or a DSA to get into data field, let's burst these kind of biggest myths that you have about the data careers that is stopping you from moving forward. Who am I? My name is Anurag Shrivastava and I have been in working in this particular field of data domain as a data engineer uh, from past four years, uh, like from writing pipelines to uh, like mentoring freshers and interviewing the candidates. I have seen many myths and many people that are holding back because of these particular issues that are not at all present also in this particular era, in this particular domain. So let's start with the things that is I have seen uh, people so many people holding back themselves of wrong assumptions. So in this particular video, I am going to break down top five myths that is like stopping you or you are believing those things or you somewhere from somewhere you heard those things and those are creating some problems and creating some myths. Definitely these kind of things will help you to get into a data domain. If you are a college student, if you are getting started into a data domain, if you want to switch from another domain to a data domain, I'll be guiding, guiding you for free. So let's start with the video. Let's start with the first myth. First myth is you need a master's degree to get into a data job. This is completely false, 100% false because I don't have a master's degree. I have been into this field. That is the first example. And if you talk about the facts, that is today companies are hiring based on the skills and not on the degrees. Right now I have seen it. I have seen many examples. I have seen people from BCom, BA or any other degrees or even a mechanical background land into solid, solid roles in data domain. I have made many podcasts with them. Definitely that those are the examples that I have seen other than that by just showing their good projects and knowledge about this particular role. So if you can demonstrate your skills in SQL, Python and visualization, no one will ask you which degree you are from and many top companies like Zoho, TCS and even startup focus more on, the, on their skills and your performance rather than on your degrees. And in the interviews, if you give good performance, if you answer all the questions or whatever are de de related to your particular role, they will not ask you that which degree you are from, which uh, uh, things you are from. But it depends on their company's requirements also. If you, they want a particular uh, like BTEC degree person, they will uh, uh, explicitly ask it in the interview or screening round itself or you will be registered from the screening yourself. That is the first thing. That is myth one that is busted. You don't need a master's degree to get into a data domain or a data field. Next myth is myth two. That is you need a master's master DSA. You need a master. You need to master DSA to get into data field. This is one of the most common and most dangerous myth because I do. I do. I, I, I have not mastered DSA. I don't know very much DSA. I am not very much optimized in but this particular field of DSA that is data structure and algorithm. DSA is important. Definitely it is important. If you are applying to the product based companies like Google, Amazon or Microsoft and that too for data roles, but that too for software roles. But if you are getting into a data role, first or second round, maybe it can be a coding round or machine coding round or can be asked uh, for your coding skills and also data, uh, data structure skills. But it is not very important that they will ask for that only. For data jobs, company are more interested in how well you are, uh, understand the data transformations. SQL logics, cloud basics or any business thinking so that is very very important in the, uh, like 60 plus interviews that I have taken I have hardly asked any DSA question for my company I have hired them but I ask major data solution questions data optimization questions or any data related questions unless the company specifically wanted me to ask or interview them for until the, now I have not got those requirements from those companies okay so no need to worry about that thing about DSA that I have cleared that data engineer or data analyst don't need DSA next thing third myth is data science me deep learning of AI another major misconception you do, don't need a deep learning of uh, AI artificial intelligence most of the data science jobs involve machine learning classification problems and data cleaning very few companies work on the deep learning or advanced AI daily uh, like de advanced AI on day to day basis. They don't work on those things. But majorly you should have a knowledge if you are having knowledge that is more than enough or it is very optional. It, it will help you to excel in your career. But most in the real world work in data cleaning or building simple models, analyzing results and creating reports that is that business teams can understand. So you don't need so uh, don't wait to learn about the ne neural networks or LLMs uh, to apply for the data scientist role. It is not a, uh, like required in most of the companies. Okay, so research well about those things and start with the regression, classification and EDS that are very important to start with. These are the things so that you can start with to apply for a data scientist role. I have already made many videos on those like differences and uh, roadmaps. Definitely you can find that and definitely you can uh, get those knowledge for free. I am uh, like busting those myths for that only. Let's, uh, let's go to the fourth myth that is you need to learn everything before you apply. Many people think that they need 
to master 10 tools, 5 languages, hundreds of concepts before applying for the job. It is not at all required, man. It is not required because that's not true at all. I, because I have seen many people who have done this and are doing this particular thing. And I was thinking that jab sari rai light green ho jayenge, tabhi ghar that is totally not true at all. What matters is, well, you know, understand the tools you know, like whatever tools you know, you understand it well. Even if you know, like only know SQL and Power BI, apply for the analyst roles. That is important that you can do. If you know Python and Pandas, apply for the junior engineering roles or internship roles that you can do. The best way to learn is like by doing, make some projects, definitely do that. Waiting to be perfect delays, like delays your growth. If you are waiting, Haan, when I will be perfect, then I will apply for the job. Don't do those things. The fourth myth, that is the very, very uh, important myth to bust because everyone is doing that and major 90% of the people are doing these kind of things, these kind of problems only. Don't do that. Fifth myth is you can't get into a data job without any experience. That is the major myth that I have seen and people think that because this is one like really hurts me as a fresher really hurts the freshers also but the truth uh, truth is companies con consider uh, uh, your internship experiences freelancing you have done open source contributions you have done and even the college projects that you have made and you should have a better understanding of those all things that is very very important if you have that thing definitely you should you can start with those things and you can approach the companies if you can explain what you have done what you did in your projects what you are doing right now 100% you can get I, I have selected candidates who didn't have any company attacks but showed their like solid github profiles portfolios or kaggle notebooks with clear logics like they showed that they have the urge to learn those things so definitely you can also do those things and you can get into the field experience is not about where you have worked it's all about what you have learned and what you have built that is very very important so that is my conclusion of the things that is don't let these myths stop you right now or like don't stop yourself by doing those things and start exploring the things the data domain is growing rapidly it has been growing very uh, very fast in last like few years four four to five years or ten years next two to three years it will definitely be a boom in this particular field and there is a space for everyone whether you are from a cs background or if you are from any non-tech background it is a, there is a space for you whether you are from a tier three college or not Focus on the skills, build the projects and apply confidently. Let me know in the comments which uh, myth is believed by you before watching this particular video and it is go it got burst or not. And if you are having any, uh, any particular issues, any particular videos, please comment it down and please subscribe to the channel. And if you want a guide or a particular things, please let me know. I have made videos on that too. Definitely check it out. Thank you so much for watching this particular video. Subscribe to the channel because I have been posting many videos on the data domain and, and these kind of things will be helpful for you if you want to get Get into a data domain or if you want to get into a data domain please subscribe to our channel like the video and comment it down please share with your friends thank you so much for watching this particular video jahan mandi matram bye 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 bye